Say, can you please tell us your name, tell us where you come from, and also confirm the prophecy that you received today from the man of God, whether to be true or not. My name is uh, Pastor Uzeb Yode. I came from the uh, USA, New York, exactly in the Bronx. Today I met uh, Apostle Makaninsa, and uh, everything he said was great. I will say that uh, I was blessed to be here. My coming here was led by the Holy Spirit. I have never planned that I will be here. The Holy Spirit asked me to come and I just obey. And I bet that this was the plan of God and I'm very, 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 very blessed being here. And um, please tell me, what is really happening in your life that made you to come here? And if the man of God did prophesy about the things that were happening in your life, confirm them whether to be true or not. Um, I've been a pastor for a, a, a while, you know, but uh, my ministry was going up and down. And lately it was uh, shrinking. I can go to other churches and signs and wonder will happen. But in my church, it was uh, very dry. I travel, I go abroad, people invite me. I see miracle happen, and my church is dry. So I came, without even telling to the man of God, he said everything that was happening in my life. And uh, he said that uh, the thing that I loved the most, he said that he would stand with me and to make things happen as it's supposed to happen according to the will of God. And uh, today, as I said, meeting the man of God was a blessing for me. I'm looking forward to see the move of God in my, in my life. As I'm going back to New York on Sunday, I know that things will not be as it used to be. So with this all issue that you'd go outside and minister, and when you come back to your church, things are not working out. How was it affecting you? It was affecting me greatly because uh, as a man of God, you know, uh, the Bible said that uh, you should bear fruit and your fruit shall remain. And uh, I wasn't bearing fruit, but the little fruit I was bearing was not remaining. And it was really affected me. And that was uh, one of the principal reasons that I came here. And uh, I believe that uh, because I was just here, you know, things will go well. I know and I'm sure without any shadow of doubt. You know. I believe you'd see videos on YouTube, pastors saying that they met the man of God on one on one, and many visitors, and you see him ministering to people. And by the grace of God, today the attention was all on you. How was the experience? The experience was great. You know, the most likely, uh, you know, uh, uh, the apostle would take time. Not only he would tell you the, the, your problem, the root of the problem, and he will provide solution. It's not like a one-on-one, -on -one, a quick one-on-one. -on -one. It's a one-on-one -on -one where it takes time to focus on you. You are comfortable, and when you finish, he asks you if you have questions for him. You know, it gives you plenty of time to really, really know that he cares about your problem. You know, that's the first time a man of God will tell me that, listen, I'm standing for, with you. I'm standing with you until what the Lord has put in you will explode. You know, I'm so happy to have been here. Yeah, amen. How are you feeling right now after the prayer? Oh, amen. <laughs> I cannot wait to go back to New York to demonstrate what I have received. Impartation took place. And I believe that, uh, you know, 
great thing will take place. Amen. Glory to God. Words of encouragement that you can give to the viewers out there. Yes, I will say that, uh, you know, one thing is to hear about the man. Mm -hmm. Another thing is to meet him. Amen. You know, I have met the man. Amen. And I'm very blessed. Amen. So I call everyone. Mm -hmm. Everyone, mm -hmm. you know, come here. Amen. If you can sacrifice, sell whatever you have Amen. and come here. Amen. There is a treasure of life here. Amen. And I pray, God, I bless, you know, uh, the name of our Lord Jesus. Forgive me the ability to come here. You know, I will come back again. Amen. So we believe that today marks the beginning of greater things in your life. And I believe that as you have spoken to the apostle of God, I believe every word shall surely come back to uh, come to pass. And we shall surely come back with a testimony that will shock all your enemies in Jesus' name. Amen. I cannot wait to come and testify again. And I believe that I will be going from glory to glory as of today. My life is no more the same. And thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. God bless you too. Yeah.